Okay, welcome to a show and tell here featuring the works by, some works by Hannah Gibson. I received a package in the mail the other uh, day and um, it was a package of samples from scenes that I had recognized from Hannah. She posts these uh, scenes on Facebook. I don't know if she posts anywhere else. I'll have to ask her um, if they can see her work in a different um, online form other than Facebook. But um, she sent me the originals, and uh, fantastic, because one of the things that I can see in these pieces, she takes really great um, photographs or scans or whatever she's doing, um, and it really captures all of the colors and everything like that, you know pretty accurately, but there's all these subtle nuances in originals that you can't really see, you know, it doesn't, I don't know, pick up really well in a, in a, in a photograph that I could show on a video. So I asked her if I could uh, share these on a video and she uh, gave me the permission to do so. So we're doing it here. Okay. Now this is a scene right here that I really loved in terms of the composition. It, to me, it's a three piece type of um, kind of foundation. There's this rectangle up here, but it's broken up into this, um, these two triangles down here. And one of the things about composition, just in general, you hear about this thing about odd numbers. So this one has this piece right here, here, and here. There's like three different fields here. And this piece right here is almost equal to this one, if you notice, but it's broken up like that. So you have this triangular format and one of the things about these two bicyclists, I don't know who these bike, bicyclists are from, a uh, different company, but um, they're kind of looking inward, so that kind of helps with this dynamic like this, you know, here's this triangle this way, they're looking that way, and this triangle's look, you know, kind of pointing that way, so you get this kind of, um, kind of visual dialogue or visual pathway happening in this scene, which I really like. But I always loved this composition when I saw it. Um, here's another composition right here. When I saw this one, I thought, oh, you know, this is a, a stamper, an individual that's really kind of thinking out of the box. I, I would never have thought to place that waterfall right back up in there, but how effective is that? And look at this type of a kind of triangular format. It's definitely a really strong visual lead-in right here that she's created. And she's really broken down um, imagery right here. This is the, um, I believe that's the old mill, rocks from the um, the old mill coming out here. I should have checked on that one before, but um, this bridge right in here and look at this type of formatting right here. It leads you right up there in terms of the visual pathway, you know. And I think that's just really cool. It really leads and draws the eye into the scene. And uh, this tiny peekaboo bit of uh, the tall rock with falls image um, really gives a sense of grandeur to the piece, even though it's just such a tiny little section of it. So when I thought that, saw that one, I thought, wow, that's really cool in terms of just using that tiny bit. I'm always talking about kind of breaking down imagery and using different portions for the parts you want. But this is a real um, great um, dissection of that type of concept right there, just using small portions and really breaking down the imagery and just using the parts for what's going to be effective for the... Um, um, you know, this uh, statement you want to tell in your pieces. Okay, so moving on. I don't know what, you know, what order these ones were in. I, I can't remember at this point in time if it was more chronological, but it seemed like, I don't know if I'm just re remembering it incorrectly, Anna, if you're watching this, but I don't know. When I saw this one right here, I thought, oh, wow, this is a really cool kind of breakdown of the imagery. It's um, it's layered in a much more complex manner than um, a lot of the imagery that I you know I've seen over time. There's a lot of layering, and I brought some of these images out, like this one right here. I don't know how many times this one's been used in here, but I believe it's these two right in here. There's all kinds of different masking and done, and then there's this kind of menagerie of. Uh, these images right here, the uh, the tree trunk 
and it's been stacked like that, you can kind of build this up by going this way and then this way. Just as long as you don't use too much of this right up here. I don't know if I would go huge, you know, I, you know, because this kind of flares out like that. But look at the breakdown of these ones, you know, these individual pieces like that, and just overlapping and whatnot. And then going up into this canopy of trees, this is a really sophisticated kind of level of layering in there. And I believe it's using some of the, uh, or a lot of the oak uh, branch in here, just in various tones. And one of my recent videos went into um, creating color glows. And when you create, when you stamp or place analogous colors next to one another or over the top of one another, it creates a color glow. So what you have here is an, um, these analogous colors in here. You have analogous colors are colors that are right next to each other, like on, the, like on a rainbow or whatnot. So you have yellow, orange, and this kind of ochre and orange up here. Yellow, orange, and red, I should say, or rust up here. So when you get all those kind of layered next to each other, they're placed over one another and next to each other. So it really creates this um, visual type of dynamic of a color glow, and that's happening all throughout that area. But there's that total menagerie of things, but so har, you know, there's so much harmony in there as well. So you get this really complex dynamic and if you look at it really closely it's just so intertwined in there and could be really complicated but on the overall it creates just complete visual harmony and our use of values in here to create depth is so um, effective you know going back there in the distance and you can see these shadows that are created down here and the reflection of the bridge real subtle types of things like that happening in here even the reflections of the trees up here and how they're placed, you know, like that. I mean, it's, it, I don't know, it creates a real mirrored um, type of service right here. Uh, and you have this kind of reflective type of quality. And you see where this area out here is light. It has created that visual pathway into the scene. And then it opens up like that into that uh, great canopy. It's hard to tell what... Um, I think my landing point is definitely up in the, this area right here because I think I travel in like that um, visually into this composition. But what an effective composition and just a beautiful piece right there. But when I saw these types of things coming out, I, I thought, oh, wow, that is really complex. And then she has also um, posted a couple videos on uh, Facebook. I have to ask her again if uh, she's placed those videos anywhere else where... Um, People that are, aren't on Facebook can see them. Uh, I'll get in touch with her and I'll add um, some things into the description below this video that you can um, see her uh, pieces and or videos if she still has those and if she's placed them somewhere else. Okay, so moving on. Um, she did um, a series of this kind of a, a real similar composition with this little waterfall right here. But look at this. Um, that same complexity of the branches up here in the foliage. And then she's given three dimensions, you know, to this bridge and created, it's the same one as this, but look how different it is from that underside. So she's created this perfect archway like that. And that rock, right, I don't know, that bridge, it's just such an effective kind of build on that, uh, you know, that stone bridge right there. But look at the, uh, you know, the light over dark in here. So this would have had to have been stamped first, right? And then you're going to have to mask that off. But there's this, still that little peekaboo area of that bridge showing through those branches right there. So she has posted, I think, I don't know if it was a video of this one or one of her follow-ups to this, uh, a similar composition right here. But this is the thing that really baffled me right here. So you get into this image right here. And normally I can spot even, you know, no matter how subtle um, the stamps of mine that were used in a scene. But this one, I thought, what in the world? I kind of recognized the forms and the, uh, the textures, but I just couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't fathom um, the, the usage of the piece and what it is. It's the tall rock right here. But, you know, there's just different facets of it. <laughs> 
that have been layered in there. I can't even, it's hard to even pick it out because then she's gone back in and um, added form and shading into all these different places right in here. It might be, there might be some Tall Rock with Falls in there too, but um, see, I mean, it's, it's just really hard to pick out exactly. See, there's that little um, facet right there. I could see it, like this one right here is this one. Can you see? But how far up there is it? And how is that layered on? It's really hard to imagine until you see the videos. But there's just a lot of kind of, uh, I don't know, layering and stamping over things. It was, you know, in, in order to create kind of a, a real dimensional space. And then the coloring is really fantastic in here with these, uh, uh, I don't know, varied hue types of layering and uh, um, applications of ink in there. And then that water has been added over the top of it. This is what I really like seeing about the originals right here, but um, there's this kind of I don't know, iridescence to um, the falls in here. Let me see, I thought I'd be able to, t yeah, maybe, can you tell that right there? See, it's real dimensional looking on these originals. I mean, that looks fantastic in terms of like a photograph or scan, but you know, when I look at these originals and I kind of hold it, I'm getting a real glary light like that. But you see that right there? That lighting on that um, um, falling water is really awesome. And then it goes down into this area right in here. So anyways, just a really fantastic piece and what an inventive way to use it. I, I was telling Nana that in some ways she kind of um, stamp evolved you know, just over the course of, it seemed like two months or something like that when we saw these kind of earlier pieces. There's a lot of other pieces too, um, other than these ones, but um, it just seemed like it went from one thing to another. And then she's done this recent um, series kind of based on um, kind of a different, uh, I forgot the region in China, but the kind of an avatar-ish looking floating types of um, um, land masses and whatnot, and those things are really amazing. And then there's been a breakdown. I don't know if any, there's, like, in this one right here, um, you know, the there's a super amount of layering with the oak branch up here, and then this kind of breakdown of this, but I think the, um, the breakdown and usage of the images in this latest series is, I don't know, it's gone, like, another step like that, you know, but the difference between... Um, like say this piece right here in terms of the stamp usage and just the inventive way of textural breakdowns and whatnot, imagery breakdowns from that one to this one is just immense. There's been a huge amount of uh, kind of a, I don't know, it's like a mindset or whatnot in order, first of all, in order to see you know, the different um, textural breakdowns and what can be achieved with that, and then putting it into application like this, you know, has been um, really amazing to uh, to see the final results. But then when you see the um, the videos, too, if you see that one um, and uh, the, her process, it's, it's really uh, fantastic. Um, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really know what to, to what to say about it. It's just a it's a real different way of using imagery. Even like that kind of that foliage kind of like overhang, and it's hanging into that little area down there. That's a really complex way to work, and uh, and to really think as well. So, anyways, really fantastic thing uh, works right here. I thank Hannah for um, sharing them with me. It was totally out of you know surprise. Okay, now this is another piece right here. These aren't stampscapes images except for the uh, the uh, ledge here uh, underwater. But look at this fantastic dynamic um, kind of explosion. If it, I'll have to ask her uh, what images these or images these are. Uh, from in here and I'll, I'll post them in the, uh, the description below, but look at the textural differences right in here. Kind of, it's like, I know it's like shards of, uh, you know, these arrows kind of coming down like, um, I don't know, like ice or something like that. And then you get this real subtle type of, um, textural variations right down here with the tiny little dots. I, I see them as kind of like little distant bubbles under the water and whatnot. Then, I don't know what that's stamped out in. It could be, I don't know if it's black or what, that has 
kind of dried in a different way. I have a feeling it's something else, but you have light on dark stamping right down here, so it creates this kind of a... Oh, I don't know, this is a real rectangle format, but um, I don't know, it almost has this triangular type of a th feeling to it, you know, with this kind of vanishing point type of um, application of media in here, creating, you know, the lighting above through the use of negative space from the uh, from the blues in here. So, I don't know, just really fantastic work, a really dynamic way to work, and definitely, definitely out of the box um, usage of stamp imagery. So, anyways, thanks again for watching. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get in touch with uh, Hannah and see if she's has these posted outside of um, uh, Facebook, and especially those um, kind of time-lapsed videos of the uh, of her process um, is really amazing to behold. Okay, so thanks again for watching.